Was, was any of the characters in Good Times uh, similar to those in your real life? No. 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 Yeah. None. The, the show, it was just jokes, right? Yeah. I mean, it was like, the thing about it was like, it's a comedy, so you got to have the jokes. You got to have jokes. But the writers were able to depict real life situations and you guys were able to act those situations out and bring them to life. Like I yeah. felt yeah. when James died, you know, when, when, yeah. when, when Thelma, I mean, when, when Florida got that call and said, damn, damn, and, you know, which by the way is pop culture now. Oh yeah, yeah, damn, damn, damn. Yeah, like, oh man, you talk. I that think I went into a depression. So they were I, so I, real. And, and, and you know, Norman, Norman yeah. casted every one of his actors out of New York. I don't know, because we all were theater. Yeah. And he always felt that theater actors were strong. Yeah. So he, he cast all his people from the theater. So we were really great actors. I mean, they were really, really, you know, good actors in there, you know, and I was glad to be a part of that. You know, I had studied myself, so I was able to keep up with them, you know. Which one of those episodes that was, that covered social, a social event that you are most proud of? Well, um, Thelma had a script. It's not really a social event, but she had a script and they kept cutting and making her change the script and change the script because it wasn't to their liking. You know, it didn't fit the norm. It was more, it was kind of like for black people. So they wanted it to be more for white, you know, and mm -hmm. they kept cutting her script. And then she just said, forget it. Forget it. I don't want the script done. I remember that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, she, she did that. Um, we did do the um, African Prince, which made a statement, you know, in itself about um, African culture. Mm -hmm. um, they, well, they talked about, you know, like things that are going on in the Black neighborhood, like bad meat, um, not giving us the same things that they would give a better neighborhood. That's social, mm -hmm. you know. So, I mean, we did our thing like that. It was, well, I think that the show is very well written. I, I, I have to give the writers their due respect and, you know, give them the praise that they had because they were very good writers. Yeah, they were. Although we had to alter certain little things, you know, to teach them how black people would do certain things. But besides that, I thought they were excellent writers. Yeah. And that's another question I was going to ask you. How much of that was improvisation, improvisation for you guys? Because I, I none, know that. None, none, not yeah. one word. Every single syllable we said was scripted. Oh, wow. And we could not deviate from the script. Wow. So, um, but I'm assuming there had to be some type of uh, fight before you guys before they said action that has some, because these guys that was writing this stuff they all of these guys wasn't from the streets so how would they no, no 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 before before that we would have a meeting and we would read the script first right and then after we read the script we have our input okay all right and then they would so we would read on friday mornings and then they take and then we would read for like from from 10 o'clock to 12 and then they, we would say our piece and what we thought and what they need to change and all that. And then they would take the script back up to the office and we would go home and we would not return. They would give us the general script mm -hmm. and we would go home and not return until Monday. But if they changed the script a lot, they would deliver the scripts to our homes. Mm -hmm. And then we would study it over the weekend. Yeah. Then on Mondays, we come in and reread it and then the director would block us, meaning that, you know, we would move around and he would, he would direct it. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday morning, on Tuesday mornings, we had to be off script. 
That means know all of your lines by Tuesday morning. Okay. Then we would rehearse it without the, without the books. And then Tuesday eve afternoon, say about four o'clock, the writers, director, the producers, Norman Lear, and all of the, the, the wardrobe people and everything would come up to our rehearsal hall and see us do the show. Mm -hmm. Then they would critique it because they see it on his feet. Then they would critique it. On Wednesday, whatever the, the critique was, we change it there, learn it over, you know, add in, take out, learn it. And then on Wednesdays, we go down to the set where the set was built. Mm -hmm. And we would block it with the cameras and the mics called the boom people. So we would walk it, walk it, so they can keep up with where we were going. And then we do that. We have a full run through so that the cameras and the boom would be all in sync and everybody understands the show. And then on Thursdays, we'd come in at about 12 o'clock. We start getting our makeup. We start getting run through. We start, you know, getting dressed, do our thing like that. And then we'd have two shows. We'd have a show Thursday at five o'clock. And we have this, and then after five to seven, then we would eat dinner. Then from eight to 10 or whatever, we would do the second show, which is the same show twice. And what were you doing? And Why are you the doing same the show twice? Because, because we did it so that when they take it into the editing, Something came out very good at the first show may not have come out good at the second show. Right. So what the editor would do is slice the shows together. Mm -hmm. You see, so they put the best of either one of the shows together. Right. So it's still one show. Right. So that's how we do it. And then on Friday mornings, we started all over again with a new script. Right. 